Good morning, boys and girls. It is Philippe here from The Drive on November 6, 2016, two days before Election Day. Get out there and vote on November 8th. It is your right and responsibility as a citizen of this great country to go ahead and pull the lever, push the button for your favorite candidate. I know, I know, some people are saying they're not great. I agree with you completely, but it's what we got. Politics aside, why am I in the car today? I am in the car to head over to a Cars and Coffee in Glastonbury, Connecticut. I'm expecting this Cars and Coffee to be a little bit higher end, uh, simply because, well, first of all, it's Glastonbury. Second of all, I'm going because a friend of mine recently acquired a pretty rare and limited and new car. It is a 2017 Acura NSX. Now he told me that he's gonna be there today. And he also told me that, you know, this Cars and Coffee, you know, it's something to be impressed by. You know, we're talking Lamborghinis, we're talking about uh, Porsches, higher end BMWs, the whole nine. Fingers crossed that the weather didn't hold any of them back. We're almost there. And because I forgot my dash camera, we're gonna have to go do the whole street speed 717 thing where he snaps the fingers and he shows up at the next place. So yeah, we'll see you there. And we're here. Let's see what there is, let's see what there is. Nice little Ferrari here. The Uber Petite Lotus. Older Ferraris here. Got this Maserati and an Aston Martin Vantage. Starts up in sport mode, which is the uh, the normal drive mode. Then, if you with this dial, go down to one click. It goes to quiet mode, and the motor will probably shut off at some point once the batteries charge off. You've got your fuel gauge, the battery gauge, and the line will drop here or down if you're using battery or charging. It uses regenerative braking off the front motors and the rear motors. Okay. So uh, we'll just go to sport. Things will change a little bit. Uh, not so much over here, but the suspension, steering, and brakes all get firmer, tighter. Oh, wow. Sport Plus. Uh, pipes open up more than races. Got to be track. Okay, and I uh, see that it turns off the, the stability control. Okay. I think it, I don't know if it turns it off completely or shut, lowers it. Okay. I'm surprised the sound didn't change too much. Give the, uh, you don't have to hold the gap, the brake line now. Okay. We're good. Uh, let's see, let's. Go down to all right. So there quiet mode. She's that's actually in sport mode, but in quiet mode she go down. All these parameters you'll see are changing. You see quiet here, and right. you're in the lower mode. And let's see now it's sport. Sport plus will keep the engine running. <laughs> It'll run higher rev. Gears will stay longer. Uh, you'll stay in a gear. Now if we go to sport, like just give the gas a little bit. happens in track. I don't know if it changes more. I right, hit it more now. So is it drivable in sport like this on an all-electric motor? Yeah, it will. Um, if you are gently accelerating, it'll stay on electric. Uh, if you hit a hill, it'll kick in the gas, but it'll keep the revs down okay. to below 4,000. Okay. And it makes everything quiet. You're only running on two pipes instead of four for the exhaust, so you have right. two resonating pipes other than the two open pipes. Then uh, I think you can go up to around 40 or 45 miles an hour in uh, an quiet all electric? mode, in, in all electric, but you can't go very far because the battery's not very big. Uh, okay. see, like right now, we've got a full battery, but that would drain down a little bit. Right, of course, absolutely. Uh, I got my FireWire here. This oh, goes nice. into this has CarPlay, so it goes into my iPhone. Okay. And then all my cars, my iPhone stuff comes up on here. So 
So pretty cool. There's so many buttons like along the way, but yeah, I mean, but it actually, it's, when you think about it, there's not that many. There isn't. You're right. Yeah, it, You're it, right. You could have buttons all over the place. You know, a lot of stuff gets done by the touch screen. Right. And then your audio. Okay. Then you would pick what you want. FM, USB, USB iPad, card. Pandora, smartphone, or Bluetooth. Wow. Then uh, menu screen. Let's, uh, let's go back up. I'm still getting used to all these things. No, I totally understand. Menu button. A couple other goodies. Yeah. yeah then you yeah. got a lot of programming. All you, built do, in. you do all your all your settings. There's a whole bunch of stuff you can do into that. Looks uh, like a Garmin, Garmin based yeah. GPS. So how much of this can you can you choose like in terms of like the colors or like okay you, you the got, materials? There, there's there's eight paint colors. This is sort of silver. There's four interior colors. I, this is saddle. There's a red, a black, and then there's a like an off white, very yep. very light color. Um, you, in two of the colors, you can get all leather, mm -hmm. or you can get the Al Alcantara center. Mm -hmm. In the saddle and the red, you can only get in the Alcantara. You can't get all leather in that. Okay. So you have to have the two tone. Uh, and then like you have two choices of leather: the softer leather or the firmer leather. It depends on your color choice. This is the softer leather with, and I forget which one it's called. So that's a choice. Uh, you can get a carbon fiber interior, which then this will be carbon fiber. I think this is carbon fiber. All the silver stuff becomes carbon fiber. And uh, I think the part of your steering right. wheel becomes carbon fiber, which is a little bit too much. I like the silver accents. Yeah. Um, this is the upgraded sound system, which you need to get to get the uh, GPS as well okay. as the backup camera. Okay. Uh, There's one step higher, and all that does is add XM. But then again, this does Bluetooth, uh, USBs, two of them, CarPlay for an Android or a or right, CarPlay okay. for an iPhone, or it does, what, I, I forget uh, what an Android does equivalent to CarPlay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, what else does it? Oh, yeah, the headliner is just cloth, but this could be Alcantara if you want as well. Okay. And uh, Do they uh, offer uh, variants where it's like a target top? No. No, they not don't, yet, right? Not yet. Uh, I don't know if they will because of what they're trying to do with rigidity, but of course... The older one came out with a Targa later on. Right, exactly, exactly. The, um, oh, these mirrors are aggressive. Else? Yeah, they're way out there because you got to get back to, got to get by the flying buttresses and back. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, these are just the stock mats. I have the optional mats. They just came in recently. Okay. <laughs> which were like twelve hundred dollars, but they're very Holy plush. Smokes. Well, it turns out I just opened the box today. They're very plush, but you also get three that go in. You, um, you can totally do the the trunk as well. Yep, and they all got yep. a nice logo. Yep. Um, then the brake. There's like several wheel styles um, and then you can get you can't get the carbon uh, you can't get the iron disc yet you have to get the, the carbon ceramic discs and okay four, four color choice three color choices on the calipers black is standard red and silver are optional gotcha um, and, and then you, you can get there's carbon fiber exterior you can get a carbon fiber roof you can get carbon fiber on all the black trim on the outside and you can also get oh, a wow. carbon fiber add-on wing which is a little bit too gaudy for my taste <laughs> so this is I didn't the, know they offer the wing option yeah, but it's it's well, it's not a wing. It's just more of a flip up. But okay. It's carbon fiber. It's just like a like a tail. Yep, yep. It's not huge, but it kind of takes away from the lines. But uh, and it also makes the car a little slower. It adds drag. Oh right, exactly. But you're trying to push it down. So right, right. The car, the car for all, this is perfect for me. You know, you, you have to custom order the car. You uh, you go online. You configure it the way you mm -hmm, want it. Mm -hmm. Then you get lined up with a dealer and you give them ten thousand dollars to put your order in. Yep. That was when you can. I, I my understanding is the first two years are pretty much sold. Wow. But there are some dealers that bought some without getting a buyer involved, which are now selling them you know, at premiums, obviously. Yeah, absolutely. So there it is, guys. The brand new 2017 Acura NSX. I really hope you guys enjoy this uh, unique view of it. I know there aren't too many out there right now. I think this is one of five or six in the state of Connecticut. So to be able to get up close and personal with it. And the owner was pretty neat. Uh, Gary, the owner, and I have agree that we'll get together in nicer weather probably and really be able to take a look at the Acuras that he has. He has two of them. He has the 2002 as well as the 2017. So one of these days we'll get together and we'll do a proper photo slash video shoot and uh, we'll see where that takes us.